What's going on, Nation? And welcome to Short Circuit to Supercharge Your Body. This is a total body routine. You know, a lot of you guys ask, what's the best way to shred fat off the body and get toned? A total body routine is the answer because what you're doing is you're maximizing the total amount of calories you can possibly burn in the shortest amount of time. Now, for this routine, you're going to treat it like a circuit. There's eight exercises, and what that means is you're going to go from exercise one to exercise eight before you redo exercise one again. You do two to three circuits, you do 15 to 20 reps per exercise, and then what you're going to do is try not to rest in between each exercise, but if you have to, do 30 to 60 seconds, no more than 60 seconds. Now the first thing you're going to do is jump rope. This is the only exercise where you're going to do the exercise for two minutes. You might need a clock or just count in your head. Now, if you don't have a jump rope, you can still do this exercise at home. You know, I'm going to put my jump rope down for now. All you want to do is basically get your body moving, get your body jumping. So you can put your hands in the jump rope position and you can just jump up and down like this, bouncing on your toes. Keep your core super tight, flex your abs as hard as you can, and just work on getting those shoulders rocking and getting your arms moving. You can switch and do one leg, switch and do the other leg, you can go fast if you want to, get your arms moving, okay? You don't have to have a jump rope. If you do have a jump rope, you can just go regular. So, you're doing your jump rope, do one leg, switch legs. If you know any tricks, you can go like this. You can double jump. If you get tired, you can go back and forth like this. Just as long as you're moving around, try and jump, okay? Two minutes of jump rope. Now the first exercise you're gonna do is a floor crunch. The way you do a floor crunch is you get down on the ground, just like this. You're going to keep your feet nice and flat on the ground. You're going to keep your face parallel with the ceiling. Put your hands behind your head. Just barely touch your ears. And come up. Breathe out on the way up. Keep your feet planted on the ground. As you come up, flex your abs as hard as you can. Now obviously, this is a core exercise. We're working our abdominals. Then we're going to do 15 to 20 reps. Breathe out the way up. As soon as you're done, you have the choice. You can rest 30 to 60 seconds or go right to the next exercise. The next exercise is actually one of the favorites from my friend Jennifer Nicole Lee. It's called the Fusion Glide. Now this exercise is a total body exercise. What you're gonna do is put your hands on the ground like this and you're gonna start off with one leg out and you're gonna stay on your toes. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring one leg in and then switch and push the other leg out. As we do this exercise, we're utilizing all, we're recruiting all the muscles in our legs, our hands, quads, our calves, adductors, abductors, our glutes. We're gonna keep our core nice and tight. We're gonna hit the abs as well, the lower back. And because you're holding yourself in the air, you're hitting those shoulders. So you're gonna do 15 to 20 reps, then you're gonna do a one, one count. So you're gonna go one, one, two, two, just like this. You go back and forth, back and forth, until you get from 15 to 20. As soon as you finish here, you're going to do the next exercise, which is going to be an incline push-up. For this exercise, you're going to need a stable structure. I'm going to use this table right here. Okay, now an incline push-up, there is some form to it. You're going to work your core, you're going to keep your body straight, but you're going to be creating a lot of muscle fibers up in the chest area, okay? For the incline push-up, Put your hands a little wider than shoulder length apart because you want to make sure when you come down, you come down to a 90 degree angle. Try and dig your heels into the ground. Keep everything tight. Flex your butt cheeks, okay? Keep your core nice and tight. Keep, a power, keep your, um, your spine neutral and your neck. And then come in just like this. And the bench should be just about your nipple line. Come down, push up. Breathe out as you exert the force. Come down, breathe out. Just like that. Down, breathe out. Now for this exercise, very simple, 15 to 20 reps. Just doing the exercise like that. Now if you want to make it harder, after you finish the 15 to 20 reps, you can superset it with a decline push-up to clap. Now this is obviously, can be a dangerous exercise, so be careful, but it'll also get your chest super pumped. And the way you want to do a push-up to clap is the same form. Keep your body nice and tight. Try and get 
at least five of these. So, nice wide stance with your hands. Come down, push. Just like this. Make sure you're breathing in between your reps. Breathe out as you push up. And make sure you put your hands down fast enough after you clap or you'll smash your face. Very simple. <laughs> the next thing you're gonna do is a burping jack, which is a combination of a burpee and a jumping jack. It's an exercise that I just made up and I'm pretty proud of it. it takes some coordination, but I can do it. It's another total body exercise, working every muscle from head to toe. All you're gonna do is start in your burpee position. So you're gonna come down, thrust your legs out like this, bring it back in, and you're gonna jump in the air and reach to the ceiling. Jump as high as you can. As soon as you reach and come down, you're gonna go right into a jumping jack, and then come back down, do another burpee, come up, just like this. Okay, 15 to 20 reps. Do one more for you. Breathe out as you jump up. As soon as you finish here, again, if you need the rest, 30, 60 seconds. If you don't, right back over to our stable structure. And we're gonna do a bench dip. Now the way a bench dip works, is you're gonna sit down like this. Grab the edge of the bench, make sure it's sturdy. Put your feet out like that, so your butt is away from the bench. Keep your core nice and tight, and then lower your body down to about a 90 degree angle in your elbows. Push straight up. And when you push, push through right here in the palm of your hand, okay? Come down, keep your head up, breathe out on the way up. Just like this. Keep the core nice and tight. One more. Make sure you do 15 to 20 reps. If you need to rest, 30, 60 seconds. If you don't, let's move on to the next exercise. The next exercise you're gonna do is an alternating Superman. Now, if you have lower back problems, this exercise is great to help strengthen that lower back. It's gonna work a little bit for our back, it's gonna work our shoulders, it's gonna work our glutes and our hamstrings. Now, what you're gonna do is lay down on the ground on your chest. So get down, nice and easy. And it's an alternating Superman, which means we're gonna get in this position and we're gonna lift our right arm and our left leg at the same time, come down, and then lift the opposite side. Just like this. Breathe out as you lift, like that. Now also make sure you're not doing this. You wanna make sure you're keeping your body as straight as possible and you're lifting your arm and your leg evenly. So I do a couple more. Just like this. I'm also maintaining a neutral spine. I'm looking straight down while I do this. 15 to 20 reps. As soon as you're done these, you go into the last exercise, which is a hover glide. Now this exercise is gonna to be tough, okay? Uh, one more thing, when you do this, the alternating Superman, it's a one-one count, so it's one, one, two, two, okay? Same thing on this exercise, it's a one-one count. You're gonna be recruiting a lot of muscle fiber in your upper body. You're gonna be hitting our biceps, our triceps, our forearm, our chest, shoulders, and you're also gonna hit your core and your lower back because you're gonna keep it as tight as you can during this whole exercise. So the hover glide, get a wide stance with your hands. Body straight as a plank. Bring yourself down. So your elbows form a 90 degree angle. Then you're gonna go one side and then to the other side. So one, two, two, three, three. Now as I'm doing this, I'm keeping everything super tight, especially my core. And I'm gonna go back and forth until I do 15 to 20 reps. And as soon as I'm done those, again, I have the option, I can rest 30 to 60 seconds, I'm gonna get some water, then I'm gonna start the exercise routine over again because it's a circuit, and go back to my jump rope, do my two minutes, and then run through the seven exercises again. So, that is your total body routine, short circuit to supercharge your body. Comments in the comment section below, and as always, more good stuff coming soon.
See you guys.